the big one today, the Holden Geelong Cup, is next race number eight. Here's Greg. Rudder Graham. And uh, thank you, Michelle, as they get ready here. Camp Amani's have told us the correct pronunciation of the horse who's to run favourite in the famous saintly colours drawn near the outside. Terry Armour is ready, and Happy Festival has joined them. Camp Amani's well tried, and they're off, and he jumped well. Rock of the Age has got away quickly, too. The Philly Normandy down to the inside, and Troubadour both away well. Here they come to the post the first time now, and there's good pace. Normandy in the centre, Troubadour the inside, and also full of rhythm on their outside, and their leading duty officer, Teddy Bear. Just behind those horses in as they work their way towards the turn out of the straight as Rock of the Age is on the outside. Happy Festival's off round the outside of the field, out past the 1800 Normandy, and full of rhythm of the leaders full of rhythm going to the lead now about a length and a half in front the favourite settled last of all Camp Amatis. into the back they race 1600 to go and full of rhythm by two Normandy three quarters away Happy Festival had worked up to third Troubadour on the inside of Rock of the Ages a length and a half to Teddy Bear followed by Duty Officer on the outside next to last Terry Armour and Camp Amatis whip the field in as they go down the back 1300 to go now and the leader is full of rhythm out by a length and a half to Happy Festival Normandy on the race third. A length away on the outside is Rock of the Ages. Two lengths to Teddy Bear on the outside of Troubadour. About a length and a half, Terry Armour on the inside of Duty Officer. And last is Camp Amatis. And he's eased out wide near the 1,000 metre mark and he's taking a more forward position on the favourite. At the 1,000 and past it and full of rhythm by two. Happy Festival second. Normandy enjoying a good run third on the inside. A length and a quarter Rock of the Ages on the rails. Troubadour in the orange. There's Camp Amatis moving forward now. Followed by Teddy Bear, duty officer, and Terry Armour's last. They're coming down the hill. About 700 to run in the Derby trial. Full of rhythm by a length to Happy Festival. Normandy on the inside from Rock of the Ages. Camp Amani steadily working his way into the race. He's being pushed about four wide to make his run at the home turn. And then Troubadour and Duty Officer as they corner now. Full of rhythm on the inside. Camp Amani's hanging a bit round the turn. Rock of the Ages just inside him. Happy Festival darts to the lead down on the inside. Happy Festival. Camp Amani's after him from Rock of the Ages. Troubadour to the outside and Terry Armour's made up ground there across the track here. Troubadour coming with a burst to get to Camp Amani's and Terry Armour. It's Troubadour, Camp Amani's and Terry Armour. Troubadour on the outside. They hit the line. Troubadour. Troubadour's got there to win it from either Camp Amani's or Terry Armour. Then Happy Festival to Gap Rock of the Ages. Duty Officer Teddy Bear Normandy and full of rhythm. Troubadour's got there to win, backing up after going around at Caulfield on Saturday behind Blackfriars. And he's finished the better on the outside to win, written by Michael Barlow. Had to give them all weight, and he's given them a beating as well. Camp Amani's second, Opie Bosson, Terry Armour's third, Danny Nikolic, one, three, and two. Rick Wallace's stocks rise again. He's got Redoute's choice on Saturday, of course. And he might well, if uh, Redoute's comes through that race have a double-pronged attack on the Victoria Derby this year because Troubadour, no doubt, will be heading that way where he'll meet all these horses better at the weights. He had to carry the 56 today under the set weights and penalties conditions of this race and he's overhauled them in the last 100 metres to record a good, strong win. Number one, Troubadour, taking out the Carlton United Breweries. Derby trial stakes. Camp Amani's going forward a good way from home. Just wanted to hang a little bit on that uh, top turn. Yet when balanced up, he had his chance. Terry Armour came from last, weaving a passage through between horses. But Troubadour went home the better and has won it about a half head, I suppose, on the line. Time there, 2.15, and a tick is about a half second outside of the record, which was broken earlier today by Metallic. It was previously held by a uh, previous Derby trial winner in Sir Midas. Troubadour... Rick Hallacey backing him up from Saturday. Pays 11.70 and 2.70. $1.40 for Camp Amani second and 3.10 for Terry Armour third. The official margins and times are coming through now. OK, Greg, thanks. Uh, top run there by Troubadour, all three just crossing the line. 19 Brew, $7.50. That's Rod Gallegas tip there. Stephen Arnold, uh, Oregon Star at $8.80. Lady Elsie, Shane Dye, $6.30. And longer odds for the rest of the field. This is a big race, so we should give it a bit of attention a bit later on. 
Maitland for uh, race number one, it's over the 400, Jack's Lightning 380, Sam Set a Promise 670, Allegro Best 370, nine ways less, $7.60. Six, three and one are uh, the tips there from John McDermott. And uh, that is the scene at Geelong, as you can see. That's number three, uh, I wonder, that's just heading out onto uh, the track. I believe the other runners are behind the barrier, so there must have been a slight problem there with uh, number three, I wonder. Rula pairs there, 250 holds favouritism, number nine, Lady Elsie at $6.30. Shane Dye for the Brown Stable. Uh, first look at this Geelong track today for Lady Elsie. Seven Brew there, 750. Eight Oregon Star at $8.90. Two Ancient City at $10. And three I Wonder at 21. The tips from Greg for the Cup are for the five Rue Lopez to beat the eight, which is Oregon Star, and number nine Lady Elsie on the second line of betting. So uh, some good odds about there from uh, Greg. Uh, behind the barrier there. And what a crowd there at Geelong. Uh, looking forward to uh, seeing who takes out the 1999 Geelong Cup. We'll head out to Greg Miles. Right appears to top pick number 42 in the order of the Melbourne Cup entry. And a win would help him here. He's got 50 kilos in the Melbourne Cup. And it'll be another training triumph by the great Bart Cummings to get this horse right after having broken down. I think he, he was favourite or very near favourite for the Melbourne Cup a couple of years ago. Scrupulous was drawn alongside him. Old timer who won the Adelaide Cup in 95. Back in form, he's ready. Ancient City is set. He won this race last year with 52 and a half. He beat, I, uh, he beat um, Oregon Star, rather, who's drawn a bit wider at. She herself a winner of the race in 97. Good quality field, this. Lady Elsie, who missed out on the Caulfield Cup in those controversial circumstances, stood in well in the yellow colours in gate six. Ryla Pez, the dominant uh, favourite for the race. Lady Elsie is the best back to beat her. They're nearly ready. Napier Street had joined them. <clears throat> They're set. 2,400 for the Cup. Rada Pez in four and they're off. And he began pretty well. I wonder a little slow to move. Out quickly is Zabuan. Lady Elsie is being restrained. They want her ridden away from the pace. And Di is fighting against her to get her settled back in the field. Zabuan, the Duke of Norfolk, winner, rolled to the front early. Over on his inside is Voodoo beaten a length and a half to Bridgehouse third. Ancient City lobbed fourth on the fence. Beautiful piece of work. Then Oregon star. Ray Lopez is following Ancient City about fifth or sixth on the rail. They're followed by I Wonder as they make their way towards the turn out of the straight. Napier Street was trapped out a little wide out there. And Brewer dropped out to be last of all. He's got Lady Elsie back to second last. It's Zabuan the leader. Voodoo beat a length and a half away second. Bridgehouse third. A length and a half Ancient City fourth on the inside of Oregon Star. They're being followed a length and a half away by Ryla Pierce, who settled well on the rails by the 1600 metre mark. On his outside as I wonder, and they're followed then by Behemoth on the inside as they went past the 1400 metres. On his outside, Prince Charming, a length and a half to Scrupulous. Next, Napier Street, Brew, and Lady Elsie is last as they go into the back. Where it's Zabuan, the leader, in a truly run cup, and he leads out by two and a half lengths. Voodoo beat is second. A length away third is Bridgehouse. One away fourth is Ancient City. Another length in to I Wonder, taking off around the outside of Oregon Star. A length to Ryle of Pez. A length and a half to Prince Charming. One further back in the field then came Bohemoth. He's followed by Scrupulous Napier Street. Brew next to last, and last is Lady Elsie. And Di would be happy with the strong pace which is being set as they commence to run off the back near the 800 metre mark by Zabuan. He leads by about a length. In second is Voodoo Beat. I wonder it got up to third outside Ancient City. A length Oregon Star Bridgehouse. Roy Lopez has had a sweet run, just needs a touch of luck from there. Prince Charming Behemoth, Scrupulous, Brew, Lady Elsie next to last, and Napier Street. They're on the home turn on the Geelong Cup. Zabuan will straighten up in front from Voodoo Beat coming after it, and Ancient City's travelling okay behind the leaders, trying to get into the clear. Then I wonder. Oregon Star Bridgehouse came wide. Roy Lopez has got 
but right up behind the leaders, needing a gap which is starting to present itself. Oregon Star at the 200, raced up and has gone to the lead. Out after it is Bohemoth on the outside. Roy Lopez can't get clear. Ancient City's coming home. It's Bohemoth and Oregon Star, though. Oregon Star, Bohemoth. Bohemoth, maybe a nose to Oregon Star. Photo third, Ancient City, and Lady Elsie ran on well out wide, followed by Brew, Prince Charming, and then Voodoo Beat. Behind them were Roy Lopez, who couldn't quite get into the clear when he wanted to in the last couple of hundred metres. Uh, let me see. The rest disappear. Here they come back into my view. I wonder, Bridge House, Napier Street, and Scrupulous, one of the last to go over the line. It's a photo. Behemoth has got it. Number six, written by Jason Patton. He's beaten Oregon Star. And third is Lady Elsie. Six, eight, and nine. Six, eight, and nine it is. Fourth placing going to Ancient City. Six, eight, and nine in the Geelong Cup. Bohemoth is the winner. Making alive his metropolitan failure. He doesn't handle the wet ground. He would have loved the rattle of his hooves on the firm surface out there today. Written by Jason Patton. And the horse uh, has come from a little worse than midfield. Through on the inside. And he's found the line with great gusto in winning the cup relegating Oregon Star into second position for the second year running in this race. She won it in 97 and has been runner-up two years in a row since then. Behemoth wins his probably nearly his biggest race. He did win a St Ledger at Group 3 level. Perhaps that would be his uh, biggest race success. Uh, but this is worth a little more money. $110,000 race. Number six, Behemoth, has 50 kilos in the Melbourne Cup, a drop of five kilos. He's already been placed in an Adelaide Cup at the distance, so that wouldn't prove a problem to him. And on a firm surface, who would know what he could do? Behemoth by Yuma Tiller, from a Whiskey Road mare gallerette, trained by John Sadler and ridden by Jason Patton, taking out the Geelong Cup. But there's, pardon me, no doubt that uh, Ryla Pears should have been somewhere in the finish, but the gap closed on him near the 200. Yes, an unfortunate run there for Rai Lupez not being able to uh, get the split when it re needed it on the uh, on the rails there. But uh, all credit to Behemoth there taking out the 1999 Geelong Cup and uh, a happy combination of Jason Patton and John Sadler. But they're being boxed now at Maitland for race number one. Jack's Lightning at 4.6. And uh, Jesse Lafay eight thirty. Sam Setter promised seven forty. Allegro best at two dollars and eighty cents.